In this tutorial, I will show you how to create albums in a group on Facebook using your phone and also using your computer. I will show you how to create your own album. I will show you how to add Bitmojis to an already existing album. And then I will also show you how to go in and edit or do things like turn off comments on your album. So, so to show you really fast how to add an album to your Facebook group using your phone, you are going to first um, go to your Bitmoji app, find the picture that you are wanting to save. So for mine, it's going to be coffee. I'm going to click on it. This information is going to pop up and then you're going to save your image. It will then appear, or it should appear, in your photos. Okay. Then you're going to go to your Facebook app. Go to the group that you were in, which mine is the Bitmoji Craze for Educators. You're going to go up here to your albums, which is at the top where your other tabs are. Click on albums you would then create an album here you're going to um, put the album name which for mine that I did on the computer was um, coffee bitmojis and then you're gonna also add your description and then you would um, click save from there this is your coffee Bitmoji, this is how it comes up on your phone. In order to add the photo, or in my case, I would have added the photo to that, but you can go there. You're going to click on the photo that you want to add, click done, and that photo will be there. And then you would click upload. Now you'll see um, my pictures. So now if I want to um, go in and edit or make changes um, to that or if I want to in this case turn off commenting because on the in the video I also told you that you needed to turn commenting off or you could also edit your description you would go to that page you're going to have to search your post the where you added the album you're gonna to have to search the album post um, and to do that, you would go to the little magnifying glass, search your name, the same as, as you would on the computer, and then it's going to come up. The very first one right there is going to come up, and then you're going to simply click on it. When you click on it, you're going to see your pictures. You're going to also see those three dots that are right there in the right corner. You're going to click on them. When you click on them, all this information is going to pop up. At the bottom, you see mine says turn on commenting. Yours would probably say turn off commenting because you want the comments to be off so that people will only be able to add their picture to the photo album and not to your comments. If you want to edit the album, you go to edit album. And from your phone, it doesn't give you a whole lot of options of editing you can add a photo but from your computer you would actually be able to go in and edit the description um, that you placed on there when you first created that album so again you would need to go to your computer to actually edit the album and and add those description or to change that description but the remainder of the things can be done um, on your phone and so then from there, everything is added. Even if you wanted to, um, you know, like add another picture to someone else's album, you would simply do the same exact thing. Um, go to albums and then all the other options come up for you to simply just add your picture to those. And again, you do have to save it to your camera roll or your photos in order for you to upload the pictures um, on your phone and so that is how you create an album and or add um, pictures to an album on your phone 
So in this tutorial, I am going to um, show you how to create an album in a Facebook group that you are in. Um, I will also show you how to edit that album or to also add to an album that is already created in the group that you are in. So the first thing that you will want to do is you would go to that particular group that you are in. And for me, I'm already in my group. It's Bitmoji Craze for Educators. Um, and then from there, if you are on the old Facebook version, um, your albums are going to be located on the left hand side. And if you are um, have the updated version of Facebook, then what you will do is you're going to go to media. From media, it will pull up your photos, videos and albums to find an already existing album you will click under albums and then all the albums are going to show up if you want to add to an album you would simply um, click on that album you would click on that album then you're going to go to add photos and then you would upload your photo and you would have to save your photo to your computer so in my case, um, for this particular one, it is sports. So I am first going to go to my Bitmoji extension and I'm going to type in sports. Okay, and here's one. Then what I would do is right click and save this image. I'm just going to put sports and I would save it to my desktop. Then I would go over here to upload photos. Type in sports. And it'll come up. And then I'll click open and that particular one will come up and then I would just click post and then that particular picture should be added to that um, album and so that is how you would add to an already existing album Now to create your own album, you are going to go back out. You're already there. If you just go out to back to media, to albums, and then over here, you would click create albums. Okay, so I would name my album, which I'm gonna name it music. Bitmoji on my video or on the part of this video that shows you how to do it from a phone it will say coffee bitmoji but for this one I am doing um, music bitmojis and then you will upload your picture or your photo and that's after you have pulled it from the bitmoji extension in this case, I saved it already. It says music. I'm going to add it in there. Click post. Okay, from here. You can click these three dots that will drop down, which will allow you access to edit your album. Um, on this particular one, you can either edit or delete the album, but for editing purposes, you will be able to go in and just add, simply add your description that you need to add. So did you give the, um, give people a guide of how you want them to add um, their Bitmojis under the album? And I suggest this way, 
so that you can also turn off comments, which is mentioned also um, under the one for posting from your cell phone, but just turn off comments so that um, people don't post the pictures under comments. They actually post them under the album. So in this one, you would just simply add the description. Okay, and so that gives them an idea of how they need to, um, what they need to do to, to add, their, add their photo, and then you're going to click save. And so now um, you will need to go in and turn off your comments. So in order for you to go and turn off your comments, you are going to need to go back out of this, and then you're going to go to um search within the group and then you're just going to search your name to pull up your previous or your most recent um post that was made because this will pop in as a a post under that particular group and then people will be able to add their photos to that album and so once your post comes up which it will should be the first one that you search right here you're going to click right here in this little box to pull it up. And once you pull it up, you have these three dots here. You will click on these three dots, and this is where it will allow you to turn the comments off. And see right here, I will click turn off commenting. And your comments are now turned off. And so now when you go back to your media, and you go to your albums, you should see your... Um, album that you created and it will show you that your comments have been turned off and so you will just see where people will start adding um, their photos their bitmojis to your album and this also helps um, with future traffic in the the Facebook group whereas when people want to search for individual poses or other things like that um, they can either go to the album and just look for it which is here or they can create their own album and then once you create your album it'll automatically generate onto the news feed of that group and people can automatically start adding to it but this will be so much more helpful and so much easier um, and it will also help avoid all the um, questions being asked for people to you know post a standing bitmoji or post a music bitmoji or a sport bitmoji just simply go to that album and there should be a bunch of bunch of bunch of um bitmojis already um created by myself and by other people that are within the group here is another example of one for the standing bitmoji and it has over 400 poses already added and um, this person has already added the information there. You just have to simply go click add photos and add your Bitmoji to that particular album. And so this is how you um, will create albums within your a group on your computer and also how you create them um, using your cell phone.